On a bright summer day, Prince George was about to embark on an adventure that would bring him closer to his family's storied legacy. The young royal, just 11 years old, was standing on the airstrip of White Waltham Airfield, a place steeped in history and only 20 minutes away from his Windsor home, Adelaide Cottage. His parents, the ever supportive Prince William and Kate Middleton, watched closely from the ground, their eyes gleaming with pride and perhaps a touch of nostalgia. As George prepared to take flight, there was an air of excitement, not just for the young prince, but for the onlookers who knew this was more than just a casual outing. One observer, familiar with the royal family's long association with aviation, remarked, now is the perfect time for him to begin. After all, Prince George was following in the footsteps of his father, his grandfather, and his great-grandfather, all of whom had taken to the skies before him. For less than an hour, with an experienced instructor by his side, George soared through the skies. His wide-eyed wonder and thrill were clear to see from below. Though his journey was short, it marked the beginning of something much bigger. The sky, it seemed, was no longer the limit, but merely the starting point. And despite his tender age, George appeared right at home, embracing the challenge with grace and excitement. Within the nearby clubhouse, the royal family remained at ease surrounded by 30 or 40 other visitors. It was a low-key yet significant moment for the Prince and Princess of Wales as they spent time with George, sharing in the experience. The relaxed atmosphere and calm demeanor of the family spoke volumes about how important yet familiar aviation was in their lives. The royal connection to flying runs deep. Prince Philip, George's great-grandfather, had earned his RAF wings at this very airfield in 1953. And William, George's father, had taken to the skies not only as a member of the RAF, but later as an air ambulance pilot. In 2008, William received his RAF wings from King Charles, cementing his place in the royal family's airborne history. His time as a search and rescue pilot in Wales and later as an air ambulance pilot in East Anglia showcased his dedication to service through aviation. George's flight was more than just a thrilling joyride. It was a rite of passage, a nod to the legacy of the royals who had come before him. But while George was just beginning his journey, his father was continuing to honor that legacy. On September 12th, William returned to the very RAF base where he'd once been awarded his wings to represent King Charles at the Sovereign's Parade. Standing tall as a representative of the crown, William presented awards, spoke with pride, and watched as the fly past honored the graduates. His words were heartfelt. It is a great honor to be here today, representing my father. As the plane lifted off, Princess Catherine's heart raced with a mix of pride and nervousness. Her breath caught in her throat, eyes fixed on the sky, as a flicker of awe crossed her face. Every moment felt both thrilling and terrifying. When George landed safely, a wave of relief washed over her, her tension melting into a broad, proud smile. Overcome with emotion, her eyes sparkled with pride as she rushed to embrace him, 